Pierre, you want to come out here? Yo, what's good, Granny Gang? It's Jay Granny back with another video. Today's video, I really just wanted to sit down and talk to y'all, give you an update on what's been going on. You see, I got clothing and stuff like that. And why I'm kind of doing my own separate merch or like Jane Grundy brand instead of um, a clothing brand yet. So basically like my whole thought process behind a clothing brand and merch is kind of like a mixtape and an album for all my music listeners out there. So if, if you've been paying attention to the music world, you know when people drop their mixtape, it's kind of like all of their songs not specifically in a certain order or something like that. And then their album is kind of like their debut project where everything's kind of cohesive and stuff like that. So that's pretty much my look on it. This kind of like quote unquote merch, which I don't really like to use the word merch because a lot of people make it really corny and some people will just, that have a lot of followers will literally just put or like rip off a design and just put their name on it and just sell it to people like that's not something that I want to do I wanted to actually have a deeper meaning which is why I kind of like roll out the video that I did for this shirt in particular now I want to kind of talk about this shirt a little bit um if you've seen the video which I'll put the preview up right here So if you watch that video, you can kind of see my whole thought process and my ideas behind the shirt. You can see that it's not just my name on a shirt and my face on it, you know what I'm saying? The idea and the process behind it is where I want you guys to understand it. Now this shirt in particular, after it's sold out, I'm not making any more of it. This was kind of just like that first t-shirt that I wanted to make so that the people who support me, support the channel movement and all that can be able to buy it. Now to kind of elaborate on the explanation around the whole cloning idea behind this shirt in particular was just me kind of venting about how it would be so dope and so much more productive if you could put yourself or if you could just clone yourself and do the work that you have to ask everybody else to do, that you can do it for yourself, you know what I'm saying? I'm somebody in particular who likes to have my own input on everything. Like even when um, I'm at a shoot or something, like I'll try to give my ideas to the photographer of what I want, what I want to see, you know what I'm saying? If I'm trying to make a product, I want you to make a specific way. Like I'm very hands-on with my stuff, so I was just like, if I could be put in that other position and kind of like, bounce ideas and like work everything myself, things would be like exactly how I wanted it. So that was the whole idea behind that and I wanted to make this the first piece of my brand because I wanted you guys to, you know what I'm saying, get inside my head a little bit. So I wanna do something like that for every release and it's kind of just gonna go on from there. Now, the reason that I'm kind of doing the verse, like I said, is so I can put all ideas out without being too like, self-conscious of them like i just want to be able to boom put it out with the collection and just you know what i'm saying present it to you guys at an affordable price now that's another reason why i'm doing merch instead of a, a clothing brand right now is because i want everybody to be able to buy my stuff like when you start getting into a lot of different cut and sew and productions with materials and stuff like that things get very expensive i know a lot of times people will look at a price and be like yo, that's way too much, why are you, you know what I'm saying, why are you charging this much, like don't you want your people to be able to buy your stuff? But you have to take into consideration of the art behind it, the thought process, the amount of time it takes to get these pieces created, and the amount that it costs to have a full stop or something. I think that's something that people really don't understand that you have to put a lot of money out just to get the product to sell. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a lot more than people think, man. And being able to see this stuff um, firsthand is why I kind of have more of an appreciation for things that not necessarily cost more, but just things that are well thought out. You know what I'm saying? So without dragging this video too long, I just kind of wanted to wrap it up. You guys can check out my website. The website, you don't even have to purchase anything. I want you to check out the website so you can see my previous works. Um, some of my recent works and this is just stuff that isn't necessarily on like my Instagram or a YouTube or something like that like these are like my separate projects these some of it is not even me 
in front of the camera. Like a lot of this stuff is photography work that I've done, just art in general. So I really want you guys to check that out. But with that being said, that's pretty much it, man. I appreciate you guys for watching and supporting the channel. It has been a year, by the way, and we hit 16K in a year, which is pretty good, you know what I'm saying? We still wanna grow, we still wanna, you know what I'm saying, up the quality of the videos and all that. So I'll definitely be pumping out more videos for you guys. And I appreciate everything, man. And make sure you subscribe if you like the channel. Hit that like button on this video and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I make new videos, man. But besides that, thank you guys for watching. I'm back to you with more. Peace.